D to D N Y Real World H V A C simplified. And now, ah, that was crazy. That was close. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to um, test your system pressure in the event you're doing a leak check or a pressure testing, and you want to connect. Your gauges to your, uh, to your service ports, but you know if you're a mechanic, when you connect your gauge, if you leave it at say, let's say you leave your pressure, your holding pressure for pressure testing at 200, and then when you remove your uh, when you remove your gauge, you're gonna lose at least five or ten psi. So to be sure, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna attach your gauge, and in this video, and 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 how you're gonna remove your gauges, your gauges, and leave your system closed off overnight or. For a couple of days and then come back and you will not lose not even one psi all right so again in this video i'm going to show you how while you're uh, monitoring pressure test how you can uninstall or remove your gauges i'm gonna do it right here real time on this system and uh, remove your gauges real time without even losing one psi and then when you come back to check exactly where you left your pressures at let's see you left it at 200 exactly you come back you're going to reattach your gauges and you're not even going to lose one, maybe you lose one PSI, but that doesn't really make a difference, in it? One PSI, unless you're using something like this, you won't see it. So, guys, um, yeah, I guess this is a brand new condensing unit. Brand spanking new. The valve are still closed down there. So I did that today. I installed this today. And, uh, you know, looking pretty clean. But the problem is, the previous uh, uh, unit... I know that this system had a leak, as a, uh, a slight leak. So um, by installing this new unit here, the compressor in the old unit, actually, the compressor in the old unit actually grounded, grounded out, so it died, and it failed. So um, yeah, I, I, I put a new unit in here, and basically, you know, I'm doing my diligence because I, I don't want to just, you know, evacuate it and open up the lines or in the refrigerant and, you know, it's a brand new unit right here, right? And um, so I, I just want to do my diligence and look for the leak. So right now it's, the pressure is dropping slowly. So I got to figure out, it's a long run. It's a pretty decent size run. Um, I got to figure out where this thing's leaking, maybe in the indoor units. But you know, losing daylight is just raining. I'm calling it quits for today, but I want to leave, leave where I, when I leave here today, I want to see exactly where my pressures are, exactly where my pressures are. And then when I, when I return tomorrow, or two days later, I want to see where it's at. This will give me a clear picture of how much the system is leaking. But like I said, uh, this is what I'm going to use to attach my uh, gauges to the system. And you won't you won't have any you won't have none of that. It's going to go on smooth without losing anything. The only thing you're going to lose, guys, when you when you return, you're going to lose just a little bit of pressure from the from this connector right here back up to your uh, gauge manifold whatever goes in your hose so i would suggest when you're doing this critical critical leak testing and pressure testing monitoring use a short hose short hose and you'll and so you'll be like plus or minus one psi that's it stay tuned all right so i went ahead and pull out the uh the core the shorter core remover our schrader valve core remover i pulled that out and I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on to my system right now. Screw this port on. All right, this is a vacuum tool slash Schrader core or service tool, a Schrader valve, Schrader valve remover tool. Um, it's vacuum rated by Apion. So let me see, I get some lights on this camera here. It's getting rather dark out here. So you see, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it on. All right. Okay. So make sure that you screw it on nice and tight, as you can see. And what's going to happen is right now, right now the valve core, uh, the pin is still in the uh, inside. Inside, so I'm gonna attach my uh, my hose onto here. All right, so my hose is attached. 
as you can see and you, you know you just need one hose if you're testing the system for holding pressures right you know the system is connected unless you got in your case if you got like solenoids but in this my, my case it's just a residential unit so there's no isolation valves or solenoids all right so you can see that this is how you're going to um start <clears throat> and um let's just say you came back and you want to check what's in the system this is how you this is how you, this is how you set it up this is exactly how, how, exactly how you would go in all right so let me turn on my testos 557s and i'm also going to do a quick little quick little lead test mode on there as well right stay tuned for that hang around i do it towards the end all right so it's powering up so it's zero no p no pressures zero psi all right so now i'm gonna go on and, and uh put this on here screw this tool uh shredder tool remover in and if you see if you're a mechanic, if you're a pro, you'll know exactly where I'm going with this by now. You know exactly what I'm about to do. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just crack or loosen the shredder pin a little bit. Just crack it a little bit and then my gauge is gonna read. Let me make sure everything is closed there. I mean, make sure my valves are closed on this gauge. <clears throat> okay, so you can see zero psi all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and crack crack my pin try to find the pin yeah definitely it's loose here's your pressure 304 you have to push in while turning so there's definitely pressures here like crazy you know that's why you want to make sure that your tool is screwed on tight here your tool is screwed on tight over there to the system this your your hose is screwed on tight and like that so now i'm at 304 all right now if i'm going to remove my gauges when i'm going to remove my gauges at at 304 psi all i have to do is literally push this pin back in and just tighten the pin tighten the, the valve core now once i tighten the valve core now 304 psi will be sealed into the system not even one psi you'll 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 you will lose so again when some if i'm going to remove my gauges right now at 300 and 4.6 that's exactly what i'll leave in the system not even up not even a decimal place less oh man it's kind of water is getting in my box man um yeah, not even a decimal place less it's going to be exactly so i'm going to simply push this back in with some force find the pin and just tighten the pin once the pin is tight then i can just relieve whatever you know in the hose and in, the, in my tool right here because the system will be sealed off with 304. all right let's do a quick little leak test right here stay tuned so i'm going to put my testo i'm light it up I have the camera light on let me turn that off I'll put it in leak test mode, mode, leak test. And I'm going to start. Press play. Let's see what it does after a couple of minutes. Stay tuned, all right? Stay tuned, stay tuned. Now, here's a quick tip, guys, regarding this uh, APN tool. Um, you don't have to completely... I'm getting the camera light on. You don't have to completely remove um the valve core so you don't have to completely remove the valve core simply once you uh crack it like loosen it you will see that you'll feel the resistance on this on this part right here and that simply means that the, the system pressure is now coming out into the tool and it's in your hose and you can do your pressure testing. So you don't have to like completely remove the pin and uh, just, just, just like give it like two or three turns and push it in, get to the pin, get, give it like three or two or three or uh, two or three turns. The pressure is coming out, that's you leave it like that. So then it's easier when you're done because it's going to be a lot of pressure on this thing to push it back in, see? Like it's a lot of resistance. 
You can push it back in, you find the pin and you just boom, boom, boom. Put all pressure while twist and lock it in. All right, so that's a little quick tip. But yeah, you could see clearly. Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes and we lost uh, 0.3 PSI. So I'm, I'm closing, this, closing this off right now. We're gonna come back another day. See how, see how crazy this leak is. We're gonna look for it, try to hunt it down, try to find it. It's not out here because this is brand new, <laughs> obviously. So let me close this out. I'm gonna show you how to remove this without not even a blip. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead. So I'm just gonna stop my leak test right now because I am convinced that like for every minute it's dropping 0 0.1 PSI. It's a small leak, but it's, it's going. So I'm just gonna stop this right now. Stop. So I know I'm at 304, and that's my, 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 my holding pressure. So I'm gonna push this back in. I'm tightening, the, tightening back the valve core. And I'm closing that off, the system back off with exactly 300 and 4 PSI. Boom, that's tight. You can feel the resistance. Okay, now, if I simply unscrew this cap, right, whatever is in the hose, and whatever is in the tool is going to release, but we know it's 304, uh, 300 and uh, whatever, 306.4. <laughs> I forgot what it was already. But anyways, you get the idea. So I'm gonna release this. All right, so that what you hear, that's what was what in the tool, but the system is sealed off. So the pressures that I had initially is sealed off into the system while this is at zero now. All right, um, yeah. So when I when I when I when I come back to reconnect my gauge, I'm gonna do the same thing. Hook it up the way it is right now. The system is still closed off. I'm gonna reattach this piece. Just basically reverse the steps. Reattach this piece. Push this in. Tighten this up. Push this in. Get to the the, the pin down here. Crack it a couple of turns, and then the pressure is gonna release back into my gauges. So again, I'm gonna lose a little bit just to this hose. You know I mean? Was it 0.5 psi maybe? I don't know. All right, that's it. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like it, comment, give it a thumbs up. You know what I mean? Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You know, videos uploaded on a weekly basis. I usually don't go more than two weeks without doing a video upload. Yeah. So that's it.